Harry, I think you started off the season with about 30 horses in training. You're now nearly up at 50. You must be pleased with the growth of the stable. Can you tell us about any new horses that have arrived this week? I can. Um, just bought a horse called uh, Lario off uh, Anthony Charlton. Uh, one nice lit Plumpton the other day and uh, came well advised from uh, H. Cobden, who was on board. Um, looks a nice horse and... Uh, yeah, be one to look forward to. And two lovely winners last weekend. Jasmine Bliss especially was very impressive to get her head in front. What was your thoughts on, on her win? Yeah, I was very pleased with it. Um, like, it is hard to win with a penalty. And, uh, you know, as I said last week, we do like her. Um, but she stuck at it well. You know, it was a tough performance. She made all the running, which is tough to do around Newbury. Uh, I thought Paul got the fraction spot on. And uh, she's a mare to very much look forward to. She, you know, she's finished now for this season. She's going to have a little school uh, and then she'll go home uh, back to Knowles and uh, next season I hope will be very exciting with her. And looking ahead of this weekend, you've got a good few entries Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Mm. Can you give us a bit of an insight into what you're thinking of running at this stage? <laughs> thinking of running most. Scrum Diddley, if the ground dries up at Hereford, could go there. Shared is in the Imperial Cup. I thought it looked quite open. Yeah. Um, some nice entries on Sunday headline uh, would probably be caught in the act who won well on Boxing Day at Kempton he's in at Warwick I want to qualify him for Sandland on the last day of the season um, I could just do with the ground drying up a fraction but he's a he's a smart horse well looking forward to an exciting week ahead me too